Hey viewers, welcome to my new vlog entry for this day. Today's Monday, first day of my industrial control cybersecurity awareness training uh, organized by DHS in Idaho Falls. Uh, it was a really interesting day. First, I got an introduction about what DHS is. Well, I know what DHS is, but uh, introduction was also was well still pretty. <laughs> um, second was the introduction by ICS Cert. ICS CERT is the Computer Emergency Response Team for the ICS domain here in the US. Uh, they make, uh, for example, they make um, vulnerabilities that can be made public uh, available to uh, the wider audience and also write advisories um, about those vulnerabilities on how uh, people that work in the uh, ICS domain um, can uh, prevent uh, the vulnerability. Um, during the day we got a uh, demo about uh, how to uh, hack a uh, corporate network by a phishing uh, attack. Uh, for example, uh, if you uh, send an email to someone in a corporate uh, environment and he opens it and it contains a malicious link clicks on the link, uh, has a web page that gets opened and uh, for example he clicks on the picture in that web page that says click here and you win an iPad. Uh, by clicking on that uh, picture he uh, then lets uh, the hacker or attacker, how you want to call it, uh, download an um, exploit to the computer of the victim. Uh, and uh, the exploit will try to uh, connect to the uh, hacker. Um, an end user doesn't really uh, see anything about this. In the background, uh, if the connection is established, a hacker can uh, use command prompt uh, or something like that to check the privileges he has gotten and try to uh, give himself more privileges or uh, try to do other stuff like uh, VNC or something starting like that uh, something like starting VNC sorry for my English sometimes it's still uh, kind of uh, getting used to talking English um, but when uh, VNC is for example uh, loaded in the background the uh, hacker can see the monitor of the uh, uh, end user and well till this far uh, that's not really uh, exciting. I mean, uh, this ha also happens in the IT world. But uh, a lot of uh, ICS, uh, PCS uh, businesses um, want to control their um, ICS uh, systems from their corporate networks so they can uh, see the status of a machine in a power plant. Um, and don't have to be at the, and the employee doesn't have to be at the power plant to see if the machine works correctly or change some settings on it. Um, but if a hacker uh, can see the screen of uh, the end user and that same end user is also controlling a machine in a power plant, then uh, that gets a little bit scary, I think, um, because the end user really doesn't have a clue uh, that an attacker is on his system. Uh, with controlling the screen, an attacker has, this, has uh, by this way the possibility to change some settings uh, on a uh, uh, on the machine uh, in the power plant. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. Um, during the afternoon, we had um, training about uh, network discovery, something about uh, pass, uh, passive and uh, active discovery. So uh, tools like, uh, if we started with Backtrack, just the CD in your laptop and started with uh, uh, with booting it up. Uh, and just by using ARP, uh, has some really uh, basic tooling, you can uh, do a network discovery without people seeing uh, that you are trying to do a network discovery. Uh, we also learned something uh, for, uh, of working with, uh, um, um, how do you call it, BTS scan, uh, NetBIOS scan, um, NMAP, uh, tra traffic analyzing with Wireshark, really interesting uh, there. Uh, Wireshark, uh, if you know how to use it, can be really interesting in, 
in uh, using for uh, network discoveries. Um, well, that's I think the uh, quick summary of today. Um, yeah, still got get used to talking here in my hotel room to the camera, but uh, still going good, I guess. Uh, leave comment if you think um, I need to change anything about it. Um, tomorrow, day two, I will make uh, another vlog tomorrow. Um, I'm just thinking what I want to tell you. Um, um, oh, yeah, that's maybe interesting. Uh, we got some uh, interesting, we have some uh, really uh, cool uh, handbook. Uh, I hope you can see it by this. So, so, uh, so that's, that's, uh, and it contains, um, these topics. I hope you can read it. So I, tomorrow will be about Metasploit, if I uh, remember correctly. But what I want to show you is, uh, let's see, compilation. Let's see where you are at. There are some uh, incidents about hacking uh, PCS uh, domains? And the uh, the consequences of it. So that's, I guess, maybe interesting also for you to see. Hope you can read it. Um, oh, a bit about the program. Uh, on the, so I will put my camera back before I go on to talk. <laughs> um, a bit about the program for this week. Uh, today and tomorrow and Wednesday we're going to get the practices and training about using tools, made exploit, etc. Um, Thursdays will be a training day, of will be the uh, red team, blue team training. Uh, the whole day long from 7 uh, in the morning till 7 in the evening. So uh, that will be uh, kind of exhausting I guess. And on Friday morning we will have uh, a round of lessons learned. So what did we learn from uh, the training? Tomorrow uh, at the end of the day I will also know if I'm on the blue team or red team. Which will mean if I'm on the um, offensive or defensive team. So that's uh, yeah, that I find it really exciting because uh, I can do a little hacking. But defending is not my uh, biggest thing I guess. So... Really interesting what team I am I will be. Um, this will be it for today. Um, just um, please keep watching this video. I have some pictures edited uh, on the end of this uh, video. Hope you will enjoy it and I will see you tomorrow.